Welcome, welcome here and I need help at C squared. We're gonna take a look at this example which asks us to find the coordinate of uh, segment AB, uh, AB negative 2, negative 3, and B negative 1, negative 4, if we have a dilation of a scale factor of 2 center at the origin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna try to use a graphical method that means I need graph paper. So let's start with that point, negative 2, negative 3, uh, go to left, 3, down, right here. This is point A, and this is the center of dilation, which I'm going to call it D. So how can I do this graphically? Very simple, you count 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. We're going to do the same movement, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. This is point A prime, okay? And you notice I count it twice because the scale factor is 2. Okay, so let's do the same for point B. Okay, and one more time, let me put the point back. So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Point B, we have negative 1 and negative 4. Right, so move one left and one, two, three, four, right here, point B. So again, we're going to do the same movement, one, two, three, four, one. We're going to move four down, one, two, three, four, and one here. This is B prime. Again, we're going to move only twice because the scale factor is two. And so... Uh, let me put back this point. I think we are right here. Okay, and you notice now we have the new segment, the image. The original one is called the image, and it's twice larger than the other one. And that's it. It's a graphical way. Uh, you can see here a better picture uh, showing the same thing. And also you can see a rule. Yeah, we can use an algebraic rule here. Uh, for example, A, which is negative 2 and negative 3, becomes A prime, which is going to be negative 2 times these two, negative 4, and negative 3 times 2, that would be negative 6. We can do the same thing for B, which is negative 1, negative 4, and that one becomes B prime which is again negative 1 times 2, negative 2, and negative 4 times 2, negative 8, and we get the same coordinates. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-squared for more math. Thank you.